golf days have long been a staple for keen amateurs and pros to get together and share a day on the course. However, over the years, some days have become somewhat stock standard run-of-the-mill affairs. In early July, though, the DZ Golf Invitational put down a marker for all other similar events to follow. Started uh, four years ago. This is the fourth year. Um, the previous three years was called the Mayor Golf Day, uh, hosted at, at a Mayor, and now um, I've privatised it. That's why it's called the DZ Golf Invitational. Um, even though it's invitational, everyone's open to, to be part of this event. Uh, the invitational side is more of my South African guests that come down, uh, the celebrities and also the guys from Supersport. Um, the rest of it is open for, for the local public. Um, the idea is to move this golf day around and not only focus on, on golf, but also to focus on, on, on Namibia as a tourist destination for the guys to come in, stay at a local hotel, play golf and, and see what Namibia has to offer. There are a number of top-class hotels and guest houses to stay at. The Vintour Country Club Resort is one such option. Not only does it boast a championship golf course, it offers luxurious accommodation and dining at its stunning best in a beautiful setting. We cater mainly for the, the corporate business, uh, plus a, a full-on resort. We've got a wonderful golf course here, um, restaurants, bars, casino as well for those who are feeling lucky. Uh, 152 rooms, 139 uh, double rooms, twins, seven suites, including presidential luxury suites and all that type of thing, and recently refurbished as well. The invited guests are well looked after, it's time to turn our attention to the golf. The man behind it all, Dan Zwiebel, is no stranger to the game of golf. His experience in South Africa with the professional and amateur aspect of the game gives him a distinct advantage when laying on something special for the players at the DZ Golf Invitational. Started uh, about 14 years ago on the Sunshine Tour and did uh, eight years a uh, stint there on the Sunshine Tour as a tournament coordinator and a bit of a uh, tournament director as well. And then I uh, got an amazing job at uh, Maya Golf Club uh, to get involved in the club industry. And then pretty much the last year, year and a half, I've been playing around with the idea of doing something on my own. Um, so there was a big gap in Namibia to, to host uh, five-star golf events and to be able to provide a platform for sponsors to get involved. So what is it that sets it apart from all other golf days? It's the personal touch. Um, like I said, I mean, doing small things, uh, tees and pencils on the first tee, pin placements, a decent setup of the golf course, not too tough. And then also, like I said, branding and, and exposure for, for, for my sponsors. I mean, that's, uh, that's critical. Um, I cannot be here and I cannot host these events without the local support. The day was incredibly well supported by local businesses to make use of the wonderful parallel platforms provided by Dan. We've had such a great success last year. And for us, it was a no-brainer. Um, Vintuk is a great place to host people, particularly our neighbors from South Africa. It's a beautiful day out here, and this is our way of giving back. Uh, we know that the economy in Southern Africa is quite depressed, and we don't want to get depressed. We want to move forward. We want to create opportunities for our customers and for our stakeholders, and we just want to bond and have fun. Uh, look, we've been, we've been involved with golf for the last five years now, um, doing the, the African jacket, uh, and, and the, the DZ uh, Golf Day is just an extension, you know, of the Ventuk Lager, uh, uh, sponsoring from the uh, golf platform. So it is, uh, it's a very well organized day and, and a brilliant day to get the brand more exposure. We decided to start getting more involved in, in sports, specifically in Namibia. Uh, we've always been involved with the first schools league uh, in, in terms of rugby. Uh, and we this, this year we decided to expand it into sponsoring events such as the DZ Golf Day. Uh, we also recently, which was last week, we had the, the Titans team playing two games against the Namibian cricket team. Uh, so we're trying to get more involved in sports because we feel that that's where the future lies. And, and you will see us getting more involved in sports where we've got youth involved. The star attractions were the invited guests who made their way to Namibia to take part in this exclusive event. I've got a very long relationship with Mark Belts and Jack Cullis, uh, going back about 10, 15 years already. Um, back in, in Cape Town, we played some, some golf together and uh, enjoyed a few drinks after golf. 
And uh, through that, uh, got the privilege to meet up with, with Paul Harris, who's become a really good friend to me. Uh, and also via social media, I hooked up with Niels van Jaarsveld. And uh, well, Niels Kittekat has always been a good mate. He is good fun. Um, so pretty much we've, uh, we've got three cricketers. Uh, we've got one uh, SA actor and we've got one Sunshine Tour professional. Um, the plan is to see how, how we can grow this, to see where we can get 18 celebrities together. Uh, we love coming back here. Um, and like I said, you know, the people that we meet here, um, it's hard to believe a year has gone again, but uh, the fun that we have here and um, the work that we do, uh, you know, it's fantastic. And, and what Dan does, um, it's nice to support him. Mate. Yeah, for sure. And it's not only about the Dan and, and, the, and what he's doing, it's, it's about being in Namibia as well. I think, uh, you know, I've just come back from a Namibian cricket tour uh, where, where the Titans came out here and we did a bit of good work with the, the youngsters around here. Um, so it's lucky to be in Namibia. Namibia and. Um, yeah, obviously, with, with Dan being a part of the whole golfing experience, uh, it's always good to come out here. It's a great country, great people, uh, and really looking forward to the day. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's obviously amazing. You, find, you meet some great people out here. You know, the hospitality is amazing. Uh, Namibia is just, uh, it's a lovely place to be. And, uh, you know, the, I like the golf courses as well. Well, the rest of the guys are actually, you know, uh, world famous cricket players and golfers and things like that. So I'm sort of like the local thespian, which which is great. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's my second year around and I uh, love playing in Namibia. I love the people, I love uh, the golf courses and uh, you know, Dan's the man, like we call him that. So uh, it's great to be involved and hopefully I can be here until the end of time, you know, many, many more years to come. It's tough as a former professional sportsman to lose that competitive edge. There were a few side bets taken by the cricketers in particular. Probably more competitive now than when I was playing cricket, but there's always a side bet going on. And yeah, it's, I suppose it's in our nature to be competitive and certainly not going to change today. I know we've got some big bets on uh, with Bauchi for a few tequilas, so we'll see us to have, who has to uh, have those at the end of the day. I've already got bets on with, with a couple of the cricketers here, uh, Paul Harris, Jacques Callis, uh, Neil Skittycat as well, he's a professional golfer. But I've, I've got the shots in the bag, uh, just about actually putting them to, to the course now. The cricketers and uh, golfers, we, we go long, way back, so we've got banter all week uh, and uh, we keep each other on our toes. <laughs> the order of the day for all those taking part in the DZ Golf Invitational was plenty of laughter and great fun. The course is good, weather is fantastic, oh. and one of my best mates yeah. is on the cart. How good is that? Watch out! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's all fun. <laughs> Better than the office. That's very true, yeah, right there. <laughs> it's on the fringe, so yeah, I think it's going to come from left to right. I hope so, that's what I'm seeing, so yeah, let's see what turns out. <laughs> Yeah, great weather, great company, the golf I think could be a little bit better, but it's nice to be out, so wonderful, see how it goes, still got a long way to go, and uh, yeah, we'll be sitting pretty. Uh, thank you, Dan, for a wonderful golf day here at the Ventu Country Club, it's something new, uh, especially after all the events that was taking place at the Maya. I hope you uh, have a successful career ahead for DZ Golf, and looking forward to the new competitions you roll out. So what exactly does the future hold for Dan Zwiebel? I think uh, it's got a, the day needs to start moving around Namibia. So this is the first year we're doing it at the Venture Country Club uh, and hopefully we can try and move it around. I don't want to elaborate too much on that. It might be a bit of a surprise, but uh, the main aim is actually to move this golf day around, to give all the smaller clubs the bite of the cherry and also to to put together an exciting weekend of golf, not only for, for, for the players, but also for the guests from, from South Africa.